I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us as we take a look at the weather forecast for the rest of this week and the upcoming weekend around New Zealand and Australia. And we're kicking off with the animated wind map because this big high is pretty much dominating New Zealand's weather for the entire week, weekend and early next week as well. It's an enormous high pressure system, which we'll explain. So it's pulling in the southwesterly, so it's a little cooler in some areas today, especially in the morning. But in saying that, Monday afternoon is actually warmer than average, and this is why. We've got this big high parked out on the Tasman Sea, uh, and for Monday, this is the sort of the wind flow around it. So that warm airflow out of Australia and out of the subtropics comes down, curves around, and comes up across New Zealand as a southerly or a southwesterly, and so we assume it'll be a cold, frosty week, but when the airflow is coming from this direction, that's not normally the case. And this high is about to change shape. So let me explain a little bit better. Here is Tuesday's setup. Uh, that high stretching further out and that wind flow changing a little bit. It's still coming out of Australia and down towards the New Zealand area, but the winds are fading in the New Zealand area on Tuesday. So let me just show you this high. This graphic, this next one here, is bigger picture. It's a little bit blurry because I just took it straight off the Weather Watch website, but it shows you how big this area of high pressure is. So the center of it's near New Zealand. It stretches out and then it stretches out further and further beyond Perth. This is the biggest or widest high that I've ever seen uh, in our part of the world. But that doesn't always mean that it's going to get very settled and sunny. In fact, the setup here on Wednesday indicates that some areas have got some wet weather coming back. Because while the high is enormous left to right, east to west, it's not very big north to south. It's not very tall. And so as a result of that, the westerly flow down on the southern edges of that high will still be blowing through. So by Wednesday, we've got a bit of rain or showers coming back to Fiordland and showers moving up the west coast. It is dry almost everywhere else though, but that wind flow means a number of places will be warmer than average into the afternoon. And it doesn't really change a great deal as we go through the week, although on Thursday, there's a little bit of a southerly change that starts to come through. It's a very light one, but the high center starts to sort of retreat a little bit back towards Australia. And when it does that, it allows a southerly flow, a very, very light one, to move in. And so therefore, this little line of showers on Thursday will be tracking up the North Island, mostly around that western side. And by Friday, it's pretty much gone, just a couple of showers left over, but there'll be a little bit of cloud around. So my point is, it's not a beautiful, perfect high where every morning's got a frost and then you've got clear skies. In fact, most places, even the areas that are traditionally frosty, are very borderline on getting a frost because the airflow around this high is warmer than average. And on top of that, you've got uh, a little bit of moisture coming in on the west coast and those westerly winds, which do help to push up the temperatures. So the final map is as we go on towards the weekend, Saturday, it is certainly a little bit messy because this enormous area of high pressure is still lingering, but because it's not very tall, it's allowing these rainmakers in the Southern Ocean to get closer and another one up in the subtropics. So it's not a perfect high, even though it is enormous. And so as we head in towards this weekend, or perhaps more importantly, as we head in towards next week, there is a chance that we'll be getting a bit of a rainmaker from the North and the South. And then maybe around May 31st, we might be getting that low there that comes into the Tasman Sea. Still a long way to go though, before we lock all of that in. So just in a nutshell, the week ahead has cooler nights, mild days, and is traditionally uh, looking drier than average. That is all from me. We'll update you again tomorrow with the latest because there are still a few moving parts despite this enormous high. Uh, so we'll be tracking those little rainmakers and the uh, wind changes as well as we go towards the end of the week, that little southerly change that's coming in. We'll update you again on Tuesday with the latest. <laughs>